Hello, I hope everyone's having a wonderful 4th of July. It has been far too long since I've checked in on everyone. Hope everyone's doing well and has had some really bizarre, crazy ghost stories that they feel like sharing uh, at, at whatsyourghoststory.com. I wanted to take a moment to check in and, and, and talk about what I've been up to, but more importantly also what's coming up. I've got the great honor to moderate a panel with DJ McHale about the great Nickelodeon kids show, Are You Afraid of the Dark? A place where I think a lot of us maybe first got exposed to ghost stories and all of the fun that the supernatural and scary movies and all that entails. Uh, DJ has been a friend of mine for years since we worked together in Hawaii. And, uh, and of course it was always a blast to work with him and now it's going to be really cool to be able to sit and chat with him about Are You Afraid of the Dark? along with three uh, directors that did a lot of different episodes of the show. This panel will be held at Midsummer Scream, which is a fantastic uh, Halloween-related conference, convention, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it just covers all aspects of Halloween, just everything that makes Halloween Halloween, whether it's costumes, makeup effects, uh, haunted houses, uh, haunted attractions, all this kind of stuff. And one of the other great events going on on the same day as our panel uh, actually, on July 29th at noon, they will be doing a panel about the ride, The Tower of Terror. Now, coincidentally, DJ McHale was brought on later to write a screenplay and create a film about that ride. At noon on the 29th is the panel about the ride, The Tower of Terror. Uh, and then at 4.30 is our panel about Are You Afraid of the Dark? And coincidentally, we did a video about the real-life building that inspired the ride. So first you got the building, which is the Hollywood Tower Apartments in Hollywood, California. And then the ride was made, and then after the ride was made, the movie was made. So really, before you go to that convention, check out the video first where we ride the elevator that inspired the ride. Then you get to watch the panel about creating the ride. Then finally you get to come see DJ, who is the one that created the film. Tomorrow, July 6th, I will be at Summerfest, the world's largest music festival with 800 to 900,000 people attending annually. I'll be there supporting the band Sunspot. Now, if you don't know Sunspot, they do all sorts of original material, original rock music about the kind of stuff that we are into, whether it's pop culture like Scott Bakula or Twilight Zone, cryptids, ghost stories. They do all sorts of songs that have to do with this weird horror, supernatural world that we love so much. Uh, they're also the same people that do the See You on the Other Side podcasts. So definitely check out See You on the Other Side. But then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to see you downtown Milwaukee, under the bridge where Summerfest is held. Uh, they are on for a 90 minute set starting at three in the afternoon. I usually consider Midsummer Scream to be the kickoff to Halloween season. And definitely check that out at midsummerscream.org. But to me, Halloween season has been going on constantly. We had uh, the Dead of Winter event that Ursula Bielski put on, and that was followed by Spirits in the Spring that Nick Sarlo put on, followed by the Paranormal, the, the Ghosts on Film, the Paranormal Film Festival uh, that Ursula again put on, and, and she screened uh, our film, The Hidden Truth, about the paranormal investigation into the lacrosse drownings. That was very fun. We just got back from Haunted America, Troy Taylor's convention down in Alton. Coming up, I'll be attending, I won't have a booth, uh, but I'll be attending the Michigan Paracon, which has always been kind of a dream of mine that has so many fun, awesome people uh, attending every year, including Josh Gates and, and Jeff Blanger. And this year, I've been to so many haunted places from coast to coast, uh, a place that's still haunted by uh, Titanic survivors, not victims, but survivors out in New York to uh, this really funky place down in Amarillo, Texas. Uh, if you subscribe to the newsletter at whatsyourghoststory.com, this is some of the stuff that's coming up. The next newsletter will cover some very unique but kind of under the radar haunted places in Southern California. I, I'm going to do, uh, there's going to be a newsletter that talks about taking a paranormal road trip across the country that encompasses ghost stories and UFO stories. And finally, there's going to be one that talks about Stull, the famous, the infamous urban legendy cemetery in Kansas, Stull, Kansas, where allegedly the devil hangs out every Halloween. So we check that place out, and, uh, and it is, there, there's something mysterious about that place. Uh, so definitely go to whatsyourghoststory.com to check it out. And again, hope to see you in Milwaukee on tomorrow, July 6th, and then in Long Beach, which is right by the Queen Mary, one of the most haunted hotels and really one of the most uniquely haunted places in all of America. Down in Long Beach, that's July 29th and 30th. 
my event is going to be on the 29th. And again, just stay up to date by subscribing uh, to the newsletter at whatsyourghoststory.com and also here on YouTube. And as a call to action, I'm always trying to find out new places, new interesting ghost stories. And right now I'm looking at two specific places in the Midwest. We're looking at Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, and Delavan, and all the surrounding towns, and also the Chain of Lakes in northern Illinois, which of course encompasses all a whole bunch of different areas. There's tons of lakes and channels in between them all. Uh, I'd love to find out, are there any ghost stories that take place in the lake? Any interesting sightings of ghosts, of, of cryptids, of UFOs, any of that kind of stuff? And of course, what haunted places could you see from the lake? Leave your story or tip in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, let me know, what's your ghost story? And who taught you the needs of the many? Are greater than the needs of the one And who taught you Just where to go tea Makes you an evil son of a gun You were the only one who tried to talk To the devil in the dark Cause you were bred from different stock Like those of us who missed the mark See you in Shakari, my mister